Good morning, everybody. I live in Bunny Night Night, aka Elizabeth Dawson here. Welcome back for another video. So, in this video, I want to talk about something you guys might be know, but however, disclaimer, I want to keep some things in private for the same reason. So, however, I want you guys to understand me with my experience and so yeah. In this video I want to talk about my childhood with my late father and my days at a math school and special ed. So I want you guys to understand me. Um my childhood was suck. Literally. Um, it's when it good and a bad time when I was younger. Um, it's it's hard to explain that much. However, if you had a different experience like myself, please comment with me now. However, I am learning to move on in healing and process. Um, I will tell you in the end of the video. Um, I know tomorrow it like in Easter, but in this video, um, I like to talk to you guys a little bit on my part, what happened to me when I was younger with my late father. Um, yeah, my childhood was suck, doing a bad time. Um, there's something good, there are more good time as well, but I want to explain, to tell you, Lucy Bunny 99, what, what is the experience with my, with your late father? Well, let me tell you what, um, my late father had anger problem, like short temper, like that, um, his parents needs to go like kind of not white at all. Um, when he mad at me, he end up smacking me in the face, yelling at me and stuff. Uh, calling me a liar. <laughs> yeah, it seemed, yeah, it, it was abuse. <laughs> and he telling me not to trust other people. In um in this special ed class, and yeah, mm, yeah, it was it was abusive, but I don't like to say that word. But I want you guys to understand. That many of you guys have had experience with abusive people, whoever you and your wife or you live with once before. However, with you in this, um, what happened to you at that time, there's a way to get out of there. And make sure you end up, you have to stand up for yourself and get out of there. Because I care about you guys. But the abuse is not okay. It's not good at all. So, yeah. Let me tell you what, I never told you guys everything about, but the truth is, I, when I was a kid, I don't understand everything when I, I was too widow, I was too young, and I grew understand what my way father first passed away, yeah. It was abuse when he was mad yelling at me and he told me like when he mad he said tell me do the puss up in military style and also he threatened me with the car key at my test right here when he mad when we go somewhere um he punched me in the stomach or sometimes he smacked me in the face in the car 
and he was mad at me. I know, some some parents do have anger problem or something like that. But I was so scared of my dad. And also, when I was younger, I was about to trust issues. Yeah, it's worse. My childhood was suck. Like, hell. Sorry, excuse my mind is that one. My childhood was suck. And also, things got really worse when I was younger. Um, when I was in Mount School, when they in Mount School, I had been picked on a lot. Some, um, the one female student and special I see was a bully. Where we see midway other students to bully me, and I hate in special ed. I don't like it. I try and tell my dad, but I don't know how to just say it. Yeah, being in special ed, it was suck. And I hated it when I've been in. Yeah. Bullying is not okay. I tried to tell the teacher lady and she said, stop. Teacher supposed to stand up a student who got picked on and remind the bully, hey, don't do that to someone else like that. But no, she did not listen. And I told the vice president, she listened that I grad. I'll be honest, I really, really hate his special ed and the amount of school. Really much. And I don't want to tell my dad because he will make way me her to tell don't trust nobody. It caused me hate other student, like this, like yeah, my dad like he was very miffy and he don't want me to trust other students and special ed. And also, we don't go any places like restaurant or theme park, something like that. We only go with my grandmother. That's it. We only go to like grocery stores and get a food for fast food restaurants. Yeah. I was such a little kid. Okay. Bullying and abuse. Like from school and at home. It's not okay. And when I was in when I joined middle school, I don't want to see my bully anymore, but I don't want to see her face anymore. I just go, finally, I don't want to see her goddamn face. Because I really don't like my bully at all. She was the worst when I remember. And when I was in middle school, one um, student who got met away by her, she come forward to tell me the truth that she tell me I'm sorry. Some people say I'm sorry to me like it's fine because I never told them about my dad abuse behind closed door when he mad. Yeah. Every parents, some parents, I mean, I mean some parents do had problems. Okay. If you had experience that's fine. Unless you parents, you do very good when you see your kids, your kiddos, okay? But this video is not for the kiddos. I advise you that because they don't understand in this video. So, so all, bullying and abuse in school and home different way are not okay and not good. My experience, but I don't understand when I was a kid. I was too young. And that's the time when I was in my teen, like I was in middle school, 
like age 14, um, my late father passed away when I was 14. I go, finally, I was free from the abuse of his anger problems and stuff. But I'm still here to tell you like that. But you guys had to watch other be on this platform. Like, what is a buoy? What is a like different type of parents' behavior of abuse and stuff? And many of you guys have had experience. I am so sorry. What happened to you? I might say it's time to move on and to recover, to healing. Um, I had really bad trauma and bad trust issue. Um, when I lived with my care provider when I was 18, so when I was 18, so during the lockdown happened, like, I did talk to you guys about my old male roommate, Choi, his anger reminded me of my dad. So, yeah, because my trust is really worse. I would trust my care provider, I would trust some of my family and friends. And so, and in UK, case you want one, right? I had Big Butter on this platform, no, it's Sound Up, Play 93, and you know his other two channel. He, my Big Butter, I told him what happened about it when he not on WoW. He's my Big Butter after all. So, um, our big sister, she got really bad my disorder, sickness, um, when I become an aunt, and so her son got a job it. Yeah, so that's why she lives somewhere else to get her some better. I mean, we hopefully she will realize things, realize what she done, but I'm not going on her. Because I was so mad what she did. She my sister. I'm not going to say what kind it is, you know. But i not going to say everything else. Because some of my family members of mine are disappointed in my, in my sister what she did. Uh, her my did to her go bad. I, I'm mad at her. I'm mad about her. See my sister. Well, typically half sister. So, see is the only sister to me and my brother. So, I know she is this platform, however, I did not want her to get better. However, says Ever since I lived for my care provider, uh, we used to have male client. His behavior was so bad. I did talk to you guys about it in the last video on this channel. So yeah. Ever since my emotional trauma and my anger got worse, and I tell my care provider and a soul worker on the syndrome, this is. Uh, the state is very strict though. So I tell them, hey, I request a therapist. I need a therapist to talk to. So I did talk with the therapist, which it's helped me a lot to get better. So yeah, recovery, healing from the past, uh, the pain. Yeah, I am getting better. So that's why. So, I advise you guys to find yourself a white therapist to help you get better. I'm to moving on. I'm to moving forward. I'm to moving on from my past. But I, it's okay. I still remember it. But I uh, see so you know my childhood is suck. Uh, during the bad time, but there's no more time than that. So, yeah. However, 
thinking for watching this video. I just want you to understand. However, if you have very similar um, experience, uh, what I tell you all, but remember, as I said, I had to keep some things in private for saving reason. But you know, I hear a lot of scary story, like the bad thing going on, and like fun real life. You know, I want you guys to be safe. I want you guys to move on, moving forward to get yourself cover and better. For especially my grandfather, he the doctor, the choir doctor in my family. He's a want to help people. And I just advise you, go find a white person of the doctor and find someone who support you and who care about you. If they worry, you have to tell them honestly. And also, if they realize you need help, if someone that you care about, they need help. Okay, parents. If you see your kiddos that had a buoy or something, bad thing going on or is any the family member or a, who is abuser I advise you is help your kiddo out you know and also remove your kiddo away from an abuser I might say abuse is not okay bullying is not okay and also these any abusers and any movie is not okay any place it it's time to recover it's time to move on for especially what Dr. Fell said any behavior need to be help and recover you know things need to be better okay and I know what I say is, I got better. I'm still in healing, still. But hey, I've been keep myself busy with the day appointment and college. Well, well, I'll be back at the college like next week for my class. Well, since I know my short term, but I do have career class on Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursday. But remember, guys. You had to keep an eye out on your class schedule, wherever you at. Um, college is different. You had to be be prepared from now on. Yeah, I could be visiting my grandfather though, so I'm being I'm going to be back home like tomorrow. Yeah, with it easier. So it's time to move on a healing. What I said. Things are not okay, but things are good, but some things are bad. So, and thank you for watching and listening to me. So, please take my advice. And remember, uh, my disclaimer when I was younger, I don't understand that much. I don't understand. I was uh, like a little kid. I know you feel sorry for me, but I'm moving really on. It was in the past, okay. I want her not to talk about it more often because I am keep some things in private for safety reason. You know, I don't want bad thing happen to me, to my household and myself. I don't want a bad thing happen to my family and anyone else uh, who I love and care about. Okay, I care about your safety too. Okay. And however, I hear a scary true story what happened to them. We don't make the same mistakes. It's okay we make mistakes in a good way. And don't listen to abuser. Don't listen to the bullies. It's not okay. They easily like midway and make you feel like bad person. I feel like that too. And I'm learning that my father never teaches me everything at all. If you had a question, feel free to ask me. But I don't want to 
something negative, I want to say something positive way to help me get better. I've been going all around negative things, okay? But I want to be moving on, moving forward, and healing. Something good way. Please understand that. So, so yeah, it's time to move on. I want you to understand me, and I'm welcoming you in my open arms. However, and plus we're we are very summer too. That's make us who we are, and I want you to follow your dreams to whatever you want to be. As well. So yeah. So time to let the up. I want you guys to have fun before back to school and everything else. So I want you guys to be safe and to focus on positive way. It's okay we feel a little negative, but don't focus on that. No. It's time to focus on positive and time to healing. Let's cut all the crap, okay? It's good my lane by the way. But I know many of you guys are worried about me, but I'm okay. Though busy with the problem and now I'm gonna be back to call us for next week very soon. <sighs> I know. This sweet semester is gonna be over very soon. When this month over, and yeah, my birthday is coming up, April 8th. So, I don't mind you guys agreeing with me, happy birthday. So, yeah, so, you guys say need to have fun. Parents take my advice when I said, but I don't have kiddos, no. I'm just a person to help, but I'm not a warrior. No, I'm not anything else. No. So there are many uh, other people on this platform who will make it a lot of you to help you guys to guide you. Parents, give your tune in, love and care and support eagerly. Okay, and guide them. For their safety, what they on community or at school, and also if if there's something odd in your family members, it's the best way to take your kiddos out for yours and their safety. If you see um their cousin or your niece and nephews. At the probably after you kill Ace or your older name that you had to do like they to keep them safe as well. Remember, be a good parent like that. And once you guys who had experience what happened to you, or somewhere like me, it's time for you all to move on, get better, it's time to healing. Except forget the past. It's okay to remember, but don't let it bother you. It's so negative. It's time to positive. It's time to healing. It's time to move on. I might say it's, it's time to stop. So, yeah, you guys have fun, enjoy your Easter, and however, if it's your birthday coming up, happy birthday, Just try to have fun, however, if you're, if you're graduated, good luck. So, I live to Money 99, aka Elizabeth Dawson, and it's out, bye.